What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Alejandro's Engineered Lifestyle. I'm finally back after seven months. Um, I tore my Achilles tendon, for those who don't know. Thank you to the 300 subscribers I've got in the meantime. And um, instead of really getting into that in this video, we're going to hop right into the most requested video via my recent poll, and that being a chain tensioning and quick shift discussion. So what you're going to want to do is make sure that chain is squeaky clean. Um, I've done so in a recent video of mine, as you can see here. If you're not taking a look at that, go check it out. So first things first, you're going to want to get the bike up on the rear stand and then get on the floor on the driver's left side, chain side, obviously, and look between the catalytic converter and the rear wheel. You'll find the chain slide guide here. Um, this thing is... A little bit of a pain to access, you're definitely going to want to be on the floor because via eye level, if you're even even with it, it's it's not a great view. What you're going to do is you're going to take a 25 millimeter measurement between the end of that um, and then push up the chain and measure the distance between the swing arm and the top of the chain. This measurement is very convoluted. Um, there are several other angles you can definitely get. I'm showing another angle here that is obviously suboptimal. Um, that being, I had to put my face where that camera was. But after several measurements, um, what you'll find is hopefully a number in the realm of two to five millimeters. So two is being a, a loose chain, five being a tight chain. Ultimately, I arrived upon 4.3 millimeters, meaning my chain um, has been pretty tight. And I've been experiencing uh, some quick shift weirdness as has been um, relayed in my previous videos. So in order to adjust that, I'm going to take my axle slider off, grab my 32 millimeter and loosen the rear axle here. No need to remove it, but what that will do is free up movement within that channel. And so on either end, we have a 13 millimeter locking bolt for our adjustment um, locking nut rather, sorry, for the adjustment bolts. So as you can see, undo the locking nut and that bolt becomes free. And then our axle can slide within that uh, guide. So from there, you're gonna wanna go chain side, really dial in that measurement. And once you've done that, um, make sure that you've really snug down that, that locking nut so it doesn't move too much on that left side but you're gonna then um, use your alignment, chain alignment tool here. This is low tech. Uh, some people use a laser, shoots down the center of the chain, which is preferable, I just, I don't have one yet. Um, so using this pin, you're gonna wanna make sure that it's parallel with the chain as it travels down that chain. So other angle here, just to give you the setup if you are in fact using this tool. Um, so from there, you're gonna wanna adjust this right hand side and make sure that um, your contact patch is perfectly perpendicular to your axle, to your swing arm rather. Um, and so what that will do is make sure the bike doesn't track left to right. And as you can see here, minor adjustments go a long way. Um, that parallelism uh, in using this tool is critical or if you're using a laser, getting that laser right down the center of the chain is critical to making sure that your bike doesn't pull and uh, stability is maximized, obviously. So looking over the pillion gives you a perfect view of a very nicely parallel chain. And with that, we're gonna snug back up those locking nuts, meaning we have both tensioned and then aligned our uh, chain and tire respectively. Uh, from there, I take one more measurement just to be perfectly sure, and I have elected for a looser chain, 2.8 millimeters, and I have a lot to say about that in future videos, though I haven't gotten a lot of time to ride. Um, the usability has been vastly achieved with the quick shifter, um, vastly improved. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so we're gonna grab our 32 millimeter. Um, we're going to then obviously snug that axle back up to spec and I'll put that on the screen here. So 
Obviously, it's not a fun process. You can then cut down on this process by using a tool like this, uh, your chain slack adjuster. So if you're looking out for that, definitely make sure you're subscribed. Drop a like if this helped you. And go ahead and recommend whatever DIYs you'd like to see next. Thanks, everyone.